Good morning, everyone. It's great to be alive in that the Heavenly Father has awakened us yet again for this day's journey. May he bless you this morning as you wake up or on your way to work and some people are on their way home, some people are on their way to the supermarket, some people are getting ready to fly, hallelujah, to another city or state. Some people are uh, preparing, hallelujah, preparing, uh, shopping for uh, their, again, shopping for their food. Some people waiting on phone calls this morning. We thank our Heavenly Father that we can call upon Him this morning and ask blessings upon all of our people that may not have gotten time to even pray this morning. So we come to talk to Father and ask Him to bless you to protect you, to lead you, to guide you, hallelujah, and to fill your mind with lots of wisdom and create ways of doing things this morning. Hallelujah. We are going to pray this morning for families. There may be some families and there are some disagreements in the family. We want to ask the Heavenly Father this morning uh, if he would continue to work in our families those that have had arguments, those that have had disagreements, <clears throat> those that have family members that do not believe the same thing as Father is waking us up. Some of us believe in the, uh, the laws and the commandments, and some of us believe that they are no longer uh, necessary for our everyday life. Hallelujah. So I come this morning to pray for, to pray for that to pray for us to, to have an understanding and be able to dialogue together because the, the Elohim of Israel created us. Hallelujah. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed will be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen heavenly father hallelujah we forgive anyone that have sinned against us and we pray hallelujah that they forgive us as well ask that you touch our family members this morning hallelujah and even though we may have not talked in a long time let your love override all opposition in our family lives so that we may communicate forgive us of our sins cleanse us for any wickedness and unrighteousness hallelujah <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Hallelujah. We're gonna we're gonna uh read Psalm 112, and I'm reading from the scriptures, and I pray that this will bless you today, and I pray that Father would touch your mind today, and I pray that your mind not only would be on our Heavenly Father, the work that He has done but that we will remember that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they were family. So, so this morning, think about that as I'm reading, I'm going to read Psalm or Tehillim 112. Praise Yah. Blessed is the man who fears Yah, who, uh, who has greatly delighted in his commands. Mighty in the earth shall be his seed. Mighty in the earth, it says, shall be his seed because we love our Heavenly Father. And some of our children or, or fathers or mothers or sisters or brothers may not have come to really know Him yet, but they're on the way. They say, mighty, mighty is in the earth shall be His seed, for the seed of those that fear our Heavenly Father. Let me start over again, I because I started talking right in the middle of the Psalm. Uh, psalm 112, praise Yah. Blessed is the man who fears Yahuwah, who has greatly delighted in his commands. Mighty in the earth shall be his seed. The generation of the straight ones shall be blessed. Wealth and riches are in his house. 
and his righteousness is standing forever. Light has risen in the darkness to the straight ones, those showing favor, the compassionate and the righteous. Good is a man showing favor and lending. He sustains his matters in right ruling, for he is never shaken. The righteous re is remembered forever. He is not afraid of an evil report. His heart is steadfast, trusting in Yahuwah. His heart is upheld. He is not afraid. While he looks on his adversaries, he scattered abroad. He gave to the poor. His righteousness is standing forever. His horn is exalted with a sting. The wrong one sees it and shall be vexed. He gnashes his teeth and shall melt. The desire of the wrong ones does perish. And what, what a father is saying here is those that are not doing right, hallelujah, their desire is going to perish. And he says, when the wrong ones see how Father is blessing us and they don't like it and stuff like that, Father is going to deal with them. So, Heavenly Father, I pray blessings of wisdom on the Father, blessings of wisdom on the mother and the family, blessings of wisdom on the, sis the brothers and the sisters. Hallelujah. Blessings. We ask your blessings on the son-in-laws and the daughter-in-laws and the mother-in-laws and the father-in-laws. We pray for communication to be open. We ask that you create circumstances so that communication can take place. We pray that the love be so powerful, hallelujah, that mouths have to open and arms open out and, and families are hugging each other today. If, if our sons have things against their mothers, touch them to forgive their mothers. If our... Uh, if um, daughters have anything against their fathers, touch the daughters to forgive their fathers and touch the fathers to forgive their daughters. However it is going, if there's a division in the house, we know everybody does not love our father because everybody in the house that love the God of Israel, then there's not a division. But if there is a division, I mean, what I mean is one may have embraced and awaken to understand that the commandments and laws are not done away with. But others may not understand that because the root of what they believe has not been studied. So we come to pray for those that desire to know the truth, that they will not reject the truth, and that we will love each other. So you have a blessed day with your family. Call a family member, share something, let them know that you care about them. Don't wait until they are dead and then send flowers. Tell them now. Give them the flowers today. Call them and say, I forgive you. Or call them and say, why do we have a problem? Talk to them today. Let Father's word go ahead of you and talk to them today. Anyway, have a wonderful day today of learning, continuing to follow the Holy Spirit, which we pray none of us stop doing that because fathers people are perishing because they they because of knowledge uh, people are rejecting the knowledge that father is bringing hallelujah to us do not reject the knowledge that father is bringing through your family hallelujah father we ask your blessings upon all families today that uh, are adhering to you and you say one day Every knee will bow. Let all that has breath praise you. Help those of us that don't know you, Father. Help those of us that know you to be a light in our home. And everywhere we go, we ask your blessings and we thank you, Father. You are an amazing Father. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for our family members and those that will get called today that somebody has passed away in their family or something ask that you comfort them today as well i ask that even when we're mourning let us forgive those people that come to the funeral we we have been reject have rejected them touch us to embrace them with your love father and be kind to one another may you who will bless you going out bless you coming in may his countenance shine upon you grant you peace joy and hope and and counsel and great love today to reach out to somebody, family, friends, strangers, anyone. Have a blessed day, everyone.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 